G'day guys. So yesterday you would have seen the video of my shower tent. Um, still stoked with this. I might actually get the longer bolt for this just to square that up because aesthetically it's not a not very nice to look at. Still looks good but not quite to my standard. Same setup today with the solar panel so it's going to be on a hinge so that when the rack is up we can fold the solar panel up and still get sunlight. Um, all I've done so far, well I haven't done anything, just bought these door hinges from Bunnings. So I'm going to run two of them and two of these gas struts. Um, also for Bunnings, $13 each. So these are 115N, so I'm assuming that means 115 Newtons of force to close, but I don't, I don't know because it seems like a fair bit. But um, all I'm going to do first up is mount those door hinges to the rack and then the hinges to the solar panel. And after that comes a fun bit of adjusting where the gas struts go, which I struggled with yesterday. So fingers crossed. Yeah, when drilling into steel, I'm trying to put self tappers in. Um, pre drill your holes because I've snapped the textures off a few times now, being lazy, and then I haven't been using big enough pilot holes, so I've snapped four textures out and then drilling them out, they're like a harder tensile, and I mess me um, <laughs> my drill bits up. Fun, fun. I'm just going to drill this one out and that one over there. Um, so I have three tech screws on each side, but that's the, the hinge set up there. Nice and simple. So I was just doing a quick test run just to make sure I'm happy with the angle. Um, for me that's pretty good, it's sort of like a 45 degree angle and if you look at that that's perfect for picking up the sun 
It's actually proven that panels are more efficient on an angle like that than straight up or sideways. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. All I'm going to do now is reenact the same thing I've done on this side to this side and then figure out how I'm going to lock the panel in place when it is on the rack for transit and stuff. And then if you haven't watched my other video of the shower tent, pretty happy with this. It's just a quick setup so that um, it doesn't waste any of the roof rack space, but you still have a shower tent for showering. So. Right, so I had to buy another hinge for the um, solar panel, so I went to Bunnings, and then got these big storage boxes for the roof. Um, there's lots of room for activities, and if you need to pack some stuff, you can also pack a spare carry. <laughs> <laughs> you can also pack a spare carry if you want. <laughs> She's a bit of a comedian. So that's the uh, tilting solar panel all done. So all the cabling's ran. And um, I ran out of P-clamps, so I had to cable tie up the very top, but basically P-clamp all the way into the chassis. And then runs down into the solar regulator that I installed. Um, in one of my previous videos, I'll put the link up there. But basically from why am I putting a tilt on it? Uh, so if this isn't tilted, I'm getting around 4 amps and currently as we speak, uh, just by tilting the panel to this angle to the sun, um, it's now drawing in 7 amps from the solar panel so it's almost you know, 40% more effective um, for me in comparison to having it flat on the rack and it just gives me more options as well for setting up So. I don't have to worry as much about the box blocking my view or anything like that but it's quite a simple little mod to do and once again I've just ran the two gate latches on um, on both sides I had to run both sides on this to stop any vibrations of the solar panel but I think it's turned out pretty good um, and yeah as you'll see now we've got the uh, the box all mounted up as well so the plan is for this box is I'm going to run all of the side walls and flooring and stuff from the opus inside here and all I've done is put some bungee cord in so that nothing falls out when it's on the rack on an angle like this and this is the one that Ker uh, Kerry uh, come screaming out of earlier on thanks for watching guys hopefully you like it next few videos will be Land Rover ones and then you'll see our X-Math trip um...
If you like it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Catch ya.